everyone, Kiki Cannon here with Cannon Studios and today I would like to bring you another video about water washable resin. Keep in mind this is not a paid promotion, this is just my personal opinion on using this product and it's something I've actually wanted to try for a while. If you'd like to hear my thoughts overall about the review, please stick around till the end of the video and keep in mind my channel is new so of course your view is always appreciated. But before I get started, I'd like to have a disclaimer that even though this is water washable, you still need to wear gloves as well as wearing a respirator and overall just being safe with the material, it still is resin. So of course, be sure to dispose of it properly and do not pour it down your sink. I specifically like to clean mine in a container that I use only for resin and then I set it out in the sun and let it evaporate. I only use this container for resin and not for anything else. So please keep that in mind when working with these materials and chemicals. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I first just wanted to start by just doing the Eligu test. And this one is on Saturn and I did ABS and the other one I just went ahead and printed on my Mars just so I could print them both at the same time and that one is printed with the water resin. I know that I did both Liu Saturn tests but yes the water resin is actually printed on the Mars so I keep that in mind when I'm looking to compare the two. And with the water one, one thing I did notice, and maybe I just didn't really clean it up enough, but there is some residue, as you can see, on the staircase in a couple areas. And this just might have been because I wasn't efficient enough with this specific test, so that could be part of the reasoning. But overall, I was actually really surprised of the quality that these pieces are and how nicely it came out. I guess for some reason I was expecting it to be significantly different, but actually I was really impressed with the results, so I decided to do a few more tests. You also notice that the color is slightly different, which is a way I've been able to kind of tell them apart. The water resin is a little bit warmer. Since I used gray tones for both, this has been really helpful and able to distinguish the two. As far as any indentions or impressions, they don't really seem like one is softer than the other one, like I was anticipating, and I decided that a sanding test was probably necessary since I do a lot of sanding and extra work and props, and I'm just curious of how much softer the water resin may be in comparison to the ABS-like resin. So I just did a quick test and from just doing this, they do seem very similar and I didn't notice any significant differences. However, if I do work on a full project, maybe I'll notice more differences as I go. So I may plan on doing a update video in the future if I find anything significant. But for now, let's just move on to the next part of the video. I found these great, unique, abstract chess piece designs that I thought would be perfect for this test since they have little tiny small parts and pieces that kind of flank off the design and overall I thought they were very interesting looking. I got them on Thinkiverse and if you're interested in printing these yourself, feel free to head down to the link below. I personally did not model these so I cannot take any credit. So for whatever reason, on the Mars is where I printed the water resin and some of the pieces didn't quite come out all the way. I did not change my settings at all from what I normally print on my Mars so I'm not sure if this had a play and maybe why some of them didn't come out as clean. As far as cleaning the water resin pieces, I'm just literally cleaning them in just tap water out of my sink. I prefer to let my pieces sit out until they are completely dry 
and then I make sure to check them to see that there's no residue left on them. If they look matte, they're ready to go, and I just put them under the UV light and ready for cure. So I let my pieces sit for probably about half an hour, maybe like 30, 40 minutes or something like that. And they seem pretty done. So I'm going to go ahead and compare um, and see how the results came out. I wrote on the bottom of my pieces so I would remember which one is which. So the W obviously stands for water washable and the A just stands for the ABS light. Just so that you're aware as I go through this video. So one thing I was worried about was just durability for these small little pieces. So I'm just pushing to see if one particularly feels a little bit more durable than the other, which was one of the reasons why I chose these pieces was because they did have a lot of thin parts on them. The water resin is a little bit softer in my opinion, but it's very, very, very minor. So overall, I don't really feel a big difference on the first piece. As far as these second pieces go, when I'm squeezing these together, they feel very, very similar. Um, the first pair, it definitely felt a little bit different, but overall I would say the water resin pieces are pretty durable in comparison to the ABS-like pieces. Again, I probably need to do more tests, and when I do print more things, maybe over time I will notice bigger differences but I would say overall from this experiment of just the test print, sanding, and just testing the overall durability, I would say that there isn't that much of a difference. And I did notice on these pieces, I do not have any of that residue when I did my first test. So my guess is that it was not properly cleaned quite enough. I think the pieces came out really well. Keep in mind, that the water washable was printed on my Mars, whereas the ABS-like was printed on the Saturn. So as far as my final thoughts, I'm actually really impressed with the water washable resin. I thought for sure it would be a bigger difference, but it really isn't. And I think that it would work really great for my props and accessories while also saving a little bit of money. The cost between the ABS like and the water washable is not significantly different last time I checked. I think they're relatively about the same. I might need to do an update on that. If I notice anything in the future with the differences of working with the resins that I feel like is substantial, I might make a new updated video, but overall for my couple of experiments, I feel that they are not really that different and you do save money from buying chemicals to clean the ABS like resin. So I hope this video was helpful and you guys were able to take a takeaway from it. I have more videos coming, so please feel free to subscribe. My channel is mostly geared towards cosplay and making props, accessories, and costumes. So a lot of my other videos might not be on resin specifically. So if there's something that interests you, please feel free to stick around and I'll see you guys next time.